A Giraffe and a Half by Shel Silverstein Read by Curator135 Copyright 1964 HarperCollins Children's Books If you had a giraffe and he stretched another half you would have a giraffe and a half if he put on a hat and inside lived a rat you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat if you dressed him in a suit and he looked very cute you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit if you glued a rose to the tip of his nose you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose if a bumbly old bee stung him right on the knee you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee if he put on a shoe and then stepped in some glue you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe if you gave him a flute and he played tooty toot you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute if he used a chair to comb his hair you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair if he tripped on a snake who was eating some cake you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake if he found an old trunk and inside was a skunk you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk if he met a fat dragon who sat in a wagon you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon if he jumped on a bike and rode over a spike you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike if a blubbery whale got a hold of his tail you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike and a whale on his tail if he fell in a hole that was dug by a mole you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike and a whale on his tail in a hole with a mole but if you brought him a pole to climb out of the hole 
and the whale left his tail and went off for the mail. And he gave the spike bike to a scout on a hike. And he left the fat dragon because his wagon was sagging. And he gave his chair to a tired old bear. And he traded the flute to a bird for some fruit. And he told the old snake to go jump in the lake. And a man who bought junk bought the trunk with the skunk. And he gave the rose to a girl he chose. While the bee on his knee flew away with a flea. And he put the shoe with the glue on you. And that silly old rat ran away with his hat. And he put his suit in the laundry chute. And he shrank another half. You would have a giraffe. Thank you for listening to A Giraffe and a Half by Shel Silverstein.